seemingly sticking to his guns on the opening of the 2022 general election servers just a day after throwing his weight behind the NADCO report, which he had recommended a general evaluation of the 2022 election process. Paul Kirobi now with that, of course, and what could become the latest of the political dog whistle? A looming political battle could be brewing once the NADCO report will be tabled before the National Assembly. This comes after Zimiola Umoja Raila Odinga issues fresh demands to both houses of parliament if the report is to be implemented. Raila in his latest statement wants the Electoral Commission be fixed without any personal interest as well as opening the IEBC servers. <laughs> Paka wae watu ambaye sisi wenyewe tunaimani nao sio pile ile sava ile sava pale kura iliingia nataka ifunguliwe ikaguliwe sawa sawa tunataka namna hiyo nataka namna hiyo tatu vile vile sisi tumesema vyama vyetu vibaki hivyo hivyo wakijaribu kuharibu tena Wananchi wa Kenya wako na uhuru chini ya katiba kufanya yale ambayo mama kama huyu ameshughulikia sana amechangia pakubwa kuhakikisha inchi yenye uhuru wa haki this seems to be a change of tune because of the mechanism required under the NADCO report. Earlier on, Odinga stated that he wanted the report be implemented as it is without any further amendments. Among other things, the NADCO report which was handed over to President William Ruto and ODM leader Raila Odinga on Friday recommended the general evaluation of the 2022 election process as opposed to the opening of the servers as had been demanded by the opposition. Odinga, who was speaking at his political backyard in Kibra, a region that has been supporting his demonstrations, he assured residents that he will be checking up on Ruto's government before and after the elections of the African Union Commission. Lakini mimi niku hapa manake hiyo chaguzi itafanyika mwaka ujao mwezi wa pili. Nikipata, nitakuenda Adizababa, lakini Adizababa ni hapa hapa tu. Nakula breakfast na Robi, lunch na kula di sababa, dina na rudi tena na Robi ya pamu. Ukiona watu wanafurahia sana, wanasema oh, tutenda kukampenia baba huko inje, wanafikiria wanafukuza baba Kenya, hakuna mahali baba anaenda. Na wengine hawajawai ombea baba kura hata hapa, tui. While Raila was in Kibra, his co-principal Kalonzo Mushoka toured his political backyard in Kadiani constituency where he assured residents that Waipa Party will have to take advantage of the two-third gender rule. I think the political party is what Angalia, Waipa Tuenza Kapatua, maybe three or four positions or whatever, we do the gender top-up to Giandai. Raila Odinga, when he visited Kibra, he handed over a bus to Raila Education Center in Kibra as part of fulfilling his promises to the residents. Paul Kirobi, TV 47, Nairobi.